add markers or data labels in an easy way. Now, over here I have a line chart, and let's first start by adding a um, moving average. All right, now, also that has become a lot easier with visual calculations, so we can just go over here, add a visual calculation, and you see here we also have different templates to choose from, for example, moving average. Now, if you compare this to writing this with a normal measure, it's quite a big difference. Here we can just pick the field, total sales, window size, three, perfect, confirm, boom, that's it, we have a moving average. Now, let's also change the formatting. Uh, so over here in the lines, I'm just going to make this one black, a little bit thinner, and then the line style, let's go for dotted, perfect. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is highlight those data points that are above that three month moving average. Okay, so we can go back here to the builds panel, and now I'm gonna add over here a visual level calculation, and let's call this one above three month moving average. Okay, so if the total sales is bigger than the moving average, then we turn the total sales, all right, and otherwise just blank, nothing. And that works, you see, over here we have a line with some gaps in between. Okay, now let's go back. Then we go over here to formatting, then we go over here to lines, and for that above three month moving average, I don't want to show the line, but instead we go here to markers, turn them on, but turn them off for total sales and also the moving average one, and just leave it on for above three month moving average. So you see now we have only these orange dots when the data point is above that line. And for data labels, it would work kind of in the same way, right? So uh, we could go here to data labels, turn them on, toggle it off for the moving average line and the total sales line. Just leave it on for the above three month moving average, all right? And then for that one, we could go here to value. And there you see, we have our visual level calculation. Now, the only thing that's still not really working is to use a different visual level calculation, for example, uh, with the difference to that moving average line and use that over there. That would be nice. There are still some places where you cannot use the visual level calculation. So that's a bit of a pity, but I guess uh, that will be fixed soon as well.